Hello, welcome to this quick video where I'll address how to fix the white screen logon issue with Teams, similar to this error here on the left. So let's begin. So number one, make sure your time is up to date. I know it's very obvious, but if it doesn't match your domain controller, you can get issues there. The next is to run the XE directly and not from the shortcut on your desktop. So to do this, you would navigate to your C users username app data folder. The easy way to do that is right click task manager, I mean, open up Task Manager, go to your startup. You'll find your Teams here as a startup item. Right click it, go to open file location. It'll open straight up and where Teams is located. So you notice here that your update exe is the file that runs on startup. You often have issues with that update. If you go into the current folder, you'll find the actual exe. You can right click that, create a shortcut, drag it to your desktop, removing the old one. That's one way to fix it. The second way to fix it is to right click your Teams XE from your path, your app data path. Go to properties, compatibility, click on run this program in compatibility mode 4. Select Windows 7, give that a try. Run as admin, give that a try, see if that helps and see how you go. Another option is to clear one of the files within your roaming Microsoft Teams folder. So that is app data local Microsoft Teams. Obviously, here is my username HT. Yours will be different depending on who you're logged in as. So you want to go to Microsoft Teams and then do you want to find in Teams these files here setup.json or anything like a settings.json? You maybe need to delete those and then retry. Of course, Always double check that your Teams is not already running under the Details tab and look for Teams here. You see I have a lot of instances running. You want to end those before you retry any of these steps. Okay, so you still have the same issue. Um, this may happen if you have changed your password recently and Teams is still trying to use your old credentials. So what we do is you go to Credential Manager, you go to Windows Credentials, and you delete any credentials in here you saw relating to Office or Teams. So for example, you just open it up and you remove that. Give that a try, see if that works. Always remember to end these Teams tasks in the Task Manager before you try again. Otherwise, basically, there will be no change. The other option is to, instead of attempting to open or sign in from the shortcut on your desktop, you can use the system tray part to sign in or sign out. And often that gets you past this point. All right, the next one is if you find your credentials are still playing up, there's a section you want to check, uh, similar to Credential Manager, but where it stores your account passwords and linked accounts to your Windows 10. So in your settings, there should be an accounts, email and accounts. In here, if you find that your account is missing, you don't have anything, you'll have to add it, otherwise it's not gonna know who to sign in with. All right, that's that one. The next one is related to graphics. So if you believe maybe your graphics is the reason why you're getting a white screen, you can try uh, changing the graphics card used by the app. So you'd open up your graphics settings from the start menu. You'd say classic app, you'd browse, and then we'd browse to that area we looked at before, which is users into your app data, into your local, into your Microsoft, then into Teams, into Current, you select your Teams XE, you add that, select the options, and here you can select your preferred GPU. So in my case, I only have the one, but normally you may have an inbuilt Intel and a more high-performing GPU. So you can select a power saving, which would indicate normally on a laptop an Intel, or a high performance, which is the external GPU. Alrighty, hope that helps. And as always, like, subscribe to keep you motivated. Until next time. Alright, thank you. Bye.